Welcome to Beautiful Piece of Brass, a Lockwood Padlock Model 334B55, um, a high security lock. It's the last lock that I can uh, show you, which were bought for me from a, a colleague from work who was in Australia recently. Um, yeah, this lock is um, for sure not, uh, not an easy one. You can see it's resistant against different kind of lock problems uh, like a hammer, a saw, bolt cutter or um, a twisting attack, um, protected against different uh, impacts from the weather, extreme it says, even um, resistant against flashes. Um, security rating and uh, double locking. Uh, system and uh, hardened steel shackle. All right, let's open it up and see how it looks in person. Uh, here we go. That's harder to get into this package, harder than the previous lock, the little lock foot. Because this is high security. But we get there. Oh, brass keys, very nice. Let's check the bidding. That's a pretty good bidding. Wow. Congratulations, Daniel. You've bought me a lock with an awesome bidding. Very, very cool. How many pins do we have? One, two, three, four, five. That's about the best bidding you can get. <laughs> Great. Wow. It's rekeyable, you can see. Oh, that works so nice. Very, very smooth. Very light uh, tension is required here on the, on the plug. And then it's, it gets open with a very nice sound. It has barbarian locking uh, mechanism, so you won't be able uh, to shim it. It has uh, bad tolerances on the shackle, but this doesn't really matter because yeah, you can't shim it. It's, it's a very nice lock. It's so pleasing to, to touch, very smooth, great, um, great finish. Very nice. All right, let's uh, see how it picks open. There is not so much room here. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm forced to work here from this ledge. Then I can use a wiper blade type tensioner. Maybe a smaller one. It still turns the plug and adjust the light in a little bit like so. Um, what, pin, uh, what pick should I use? It's not really a blind pick if you know the bidding so I'm prepared um, I think I will use, I will start with this pick. It's very thin, the profile is very thin, but it has a pretty good reach. Hope this is enough for this awesome bidding. Okay, one is binding. I think I get counter rotation from one. Ah, maybe this lock has these these lockwood spools, which are very shallow. Mm, this pick is is very thin, uh, but it's also very fragile. So from the feedback you get, you would like to push the pin really hard, but I'm afraid the pick would break. But I think I got it now. Okay, I can slide in the pick without oversetting anything. That's that's good. 
there is feedback from two. There is feedback from a back pin and the overset, but I released tension and it came back. Feedback from also from again from a last pin or back pin. Still feedback. I don't think that I can. Oh, it's open. Have a look at that. It's open. <laughs> That's the high security lock. Woo! <laughs> Great. I didn't expect it. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, lock it back up and uh, open it up and look inside. Ah, I was expecting this to become a, a, a lengthy video and now I'm missing my uh, Phillips screwdriver. Um, maybe I can get it open with a flathead screwdriver. Okay, here we go. Oh, very nicely made. That's the adapter piece. Um, I just need to get a pinning tray. So, here we go. so that it, that it doesn't come loose. So let's insert the key, turn it. Now you can see that there is a, a cap on the Bible, so if something goes wrong with the gutting, I can always pull out the, this cap here and uh, rescue the lock. But now let's try to um, gut it the usual way. Key pins are now pointing upwards, and here we go. Uh, we've got five pins, five pin stacks. It's a little bit oily or greasy, but not not too bad. Uh, you can see how how they move. Again, that's the bidding. So let's see. They won't come out easily because they are a bit sticky from the grease. These are very well made pins. I don't know if this is steel or um, different material with a with a um, coating. Uh, let me check with a magnet. No, that's not steel. That's maybe brass with a uh, with a coating. So let's check the plug really close. We can see that it is extremely well made, very smooth. No no flattening on the top on the shear line here. It has the option for anti-drill pins for hardened steel inserts, but this lock is not equipped with these um, with this feature, and it also has the capability of a sixth pin to make it a little bit more secure. That's very nice. So nothing more to say about the plug and the key pins. I've already told you we've got uh, smooth and uh, yeah. Key pins with no special features. All right, so now let's move on to the Bible with the drivers. These are the Lockwood spools that I was expecting. 
very well made, very smooth, very shiny and shallow. Oops. And there is no sixth. And here we go to have the springs out. Quickly inspect the Bible. We've got the option of a six pin here as well, so this would work to equip it with all six pins for the chambers and the plug and the Bible. Then you also would need to have uh, another key, a longer key, because this one is. Yeah, it, you you can make it. I may, maybe maybe I will populate the sixth chamber as well to give it an um, extra um, touch, so give it a little bit more security. Um, but now let's inspect the the drivers. We can see these are these typical Lockwood drivers, um, very shallow. And all of them are, all of them are uh, spools. Usually in a lock you have at least one standard pin to get um, the plug straight uh, when you insert the key, or to have the plug straight when you insert the key. But I think it's not necessary with these shallow spools. And I want to see if we populate the plug with the key pins if all of these drivers are effective. So that's the longest key pin. And we still have an effective spool because these spools are not only shallow but they have also very short end parts. So even with this longest um, uh, key pin we have an effective spool. So that's very nice. That's a different way of sorry. That's a different way of um, well, how can I say mindset. So they have all spools, um, very shallow and um, very short end parts. All right. So this was um, this was great fun. <laughs> this was the Lockwood by Essa Eplo, model 334B45, picked and got it. Um, Daniel, thank you very much for getting all these locks for me when you were in Australia. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching and happy picking. Cheers and bye-bye.